Today I am back out in the woods cutting down a couple more Widowmakers. These Widowmakers are even more dangerous because they are split part way up. Where they're split at, the rest of the tree is actually leaning into other trees. The pressure of the leaning tree top on the trunk pushes backwards and often makes the tree trunk fall right back towards the person cutting the tree. So to play it safe, I'm cutting a notch in the tree and I'm simply pulling them down with my Kubota. There is no way that I want to stand under these Widowmakers when I'm cutting these two down. And you can see the Kubota here getting ready to pull the last half of the first tree down. This is a safe, easy way to do this as long as you're very careful when you cut the notch out of the tree. If you cut too deep, the force of that Widowmaker bent backwards is just going to make the tree come down regardless. Before I cut the second Widowmaker, I have a big dead elm tree that's right behind it, and I want that big dead elm out of the way. I have a splitting wedge in the back so the tree doesn't fall the wrong direction, and I'm just going to land the tree right off to the side of the Widowmaker here. I'll take a second and get that all cut up, and once I've logged that up, I'm going to work on this last Widowmaker. I made one quick cut at the bottom. I've got my chain tied around the tree, and you can see where it is broke right off. It's about 12 feet up in the air where that break is at, and if I were to just cut this like a normal tree, it'd come right down on top of me. But with that Kubota, we're just going to snap it back, and it falls straight to the ground just like it should. I'm going to wrap the chain around the top half of the tree, and I'm just going to finish pulling it flat to the ground to make this even easier on me.